Hello and welcome back. And this video, I want to show you the actually the free theme, WordPress theme that I'm giving you. Uh, it's nothing more than a WordPress theme that is about 500 pixels wide, and you can use it to make apps or whatever the case may be. If you watch the videos on making the apps and pages, you can use this theme to create more. Now, keep in mind that on the free WordPress plugin that I've given you, it makes its own page, so there's no need to have this theme, okay? It will work and, and create a, a blank canvas page for you. This is for other uses. You can use it to create more fan pages and whatever the case may be. I wanted you to have a WordPress theme. It's nothing more than you set up WordPress on a site and you install this theme and you start using it. You you set it up just like you normally would any other theme and you can actually make videos with it. Whatever the case, just like a regular WordPress theme. There is no there's no difference or anything about it. The only thing is is it fits within this area. That's the main thing. And just to show you this is it. I mean, this is all there is. It's a regular WordPress theme. No magic to it. So just go and watch the videos, create your apps, and have fun using it. I will note that what I have done on this theme, I have optimized it, and I have placed code in it that it will actually go in and remove the actual scroll bars at the top and the bottom. You will not see them no matter how tall it is. You'll notice here that there are no actual scroll bars. And that is also built into the theme at no charge to you. Something I will note before I let you go here is when you're setting up your apps, okay, you want to, when you're using this theme, Again, I want to make sure you're clear this has nothing to do with the free plugin I provided you. This is just the theme that I'm speaking about. You want to go in and make sure that you've got iframes and auto size checked and iframe here, okay? When you're setting up your apps, make sure you do that. And also, it's a great idea when you're setting up your tab URL and that is covered in setting up an app. Go ahead and use if you've installed this on a top domain or a subdomain like I have, go ahead and use your index PHP as your tab URL. You can change your tab name again, whatever you would like. Main thing is is to have the URL in like this. And the nice thing is you can install WordPress on subdomains. Uh, again, I'm not getting into that. Plenty of information out there on that. If you use uh, cPanel hosting, set up you a subdomain and then use your control panel to set up WordPress in that subdomain. And that's all that is, the subdomain name. And I've entered in index.php. iframe, iframe, auto resize. And you should have no problems using it. I certainly hope you enjoy this. That is, uh, that's how I make my fan pages. And you can uh, do the exact same thing. It takes a little practice, but after you do it a few times, you'll find out how simple it is. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I hope you enjoy this course.